Hi everybody, let's do a quick video on the money multiplier. Here's a note for the side. Remember that in 104, right, we had our money multiplier, which was denoted as mm, equal to 1 over rr. But we had these two assumptions which we talked about already in this lesson. And those assumptions were that there was no excess reserves being held, and there was also no currency being held by the public. We're going to relax those assumptions and we're going to create a more robust money multiplier. So MM is what we're going to know as the money multiplier. Money multiplier. And remember, the idea of the money multiplier, if there's an initial deposit, how much is overall deposits going to grow? So the overall money supply, therefore, is going to equal to that monetary base, so that initial level of high-powered money, times the money multiplier. That is how we figure out the money multiplier. We can rearrange this. We have the money multiplier is going to be equal to M over MB. And we know from our current lesson is that the overall money supply is the currencies plus deposits. That's very similar in exactly what that M1 is that we talked about during this lesson. And the monetary base is the base. It's the high-powered money. It's the actual dollars and cents that are sitting there in the monetary system. And we have that as currency plus reserves. What we're going to do in order to complete this money multiplier process is we're going to keep the numerator the same, but the denominator, we're going to expand reserves. So instead of reserves, we're going to just make that the required reserves plus the excess reserves. Now, the way that we are going to create this money multiplier in 304 is we are going to do a little bit of a math uh, trick that helps out. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 1 over D, which equals 1. So I can legally do that. So I'm multiplying the top and the bottom by 1 over D because I want to get this stuff into deposit ratios, which we talked about earlier in this lesson. So what that means, if I bring this down here, is the money multiplier is now going to equal to C over D plus D over D divided by C over D plus RR over D plus ER over D. And that means that we are going to get, remember that C over D, use a different color here, right? Remember C over D was just equal to a lowercase c. D over D is going to just be equal to 1, which would then be little c plus, remember r, r over D was little rr, and then er over D, which is the excess reserve to deposit ratio, is little e. So that gets us what our money multiplier is. Now there's a practice problem that you get to do this, and so I want you to do that practice problem. And then next week, when we're doing uh, all of this stuff during class, like if you wanna come to the group study session, I will do one of these out for you with actual numbers. So again, what you're really looking for here is this equation. That is the money multiplier. Little c plus one divided by little c plus little rr plus little e.